I'm James, and this is my wife, Tanya. A year ago, we sold our home and moved onto our 1992 38-foot island packet. Up until a few years ago, we had never sailed a day in our life, but now we're about to go on the biggest adventure of our lifetime. After 40 years of land life, we left it all behind to chase our dreams of discovery and see the world from a whole new perspective. There will undoubtedly be challenges along the way, but together we can accomplish anything. We invite you to follow along as we explore new places, meet new people, and constantly test our courage here on Stella J. All right, we're nine days away from departure. Nine days from the biggest adventure of our life. This is crazy, it's getting real now. We're excited, we're nervous, we're anxious. It, it, the whole ton of feelings going on right now, but uh, today it's provisioning day. So we gotta provision and cook up some food for five grown adults. Uh, Tanny and I, we don't have kids, so uh, we're used to you know cooking just for, for the two of us, so this should be pretty interesting. Uh, but uh, so we're gonna go hit the grocery store. Our friends Ann and Tim have been kind enough to allow us to use their kitchen today. So uh, we took them up on the offer and uh, we'll go over there and we'll do some uh, meal preps today. And uh, you know, hopefully be able to freeze some of these uh, items for easy use uh, during our voyage. So that's the plan and let's get to it. Okay, so here we are at Ann and Tim's house and we are getting ready to cook. So this isn't the full provisioning quite yet. This is just uh, meal prep. We got about five items that we're gonna cook and uh, Ann has uh, generously uh, invited us over to use her kitchen, so this is nice. But here's the real highlight. This is the view back here. So it's all the San Juan Islands back there. So while we're cooking, we get an awesome view. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna dig in and uh, see where this leads and hopefully it works out. Hopefully we've got plenty of room in the fridge. So, all right, we'll find out here soon. All right, so it's about three hours later and uh, we got, I don't know, about five meals or so. So I think it was a big success. And thanks again, Ann, for uh, letting us use your kitchen. Uh, it was really nice to have a full-size sink again. So uh, now the uh, trick is to see if we got space on the boat. So let's get back to the boat and see what we can do. So the goal is to get all of that into here. So, hopefully we bought the right size tins, but we'll see how much we can cram in there. The rest we'll go ahead and put in the uh, top loading freezer over here and uh, see where we're at, so. Okay, the end result is we got one packed freezer. We got lucky with the Mexi shells and it's packed full of pre-made goods here so I think uh, that's only part of our provisioning uh, once we get back from Portland uh, we'll go ahead and finish up you know all the uh, the vegetables and breads and things like that but uh, at least these are pre-made they're out of the way we'll freeze them and uh, hopefully underway all we need to do is throw them in the oven
All right, 48 hours till departure. Today's cleaning day. So the boat is ready to go for the most part. Uh, I got most safety items taken care of. And, uh, but uh, just now that we don't have the dog and that she's safely uh, taken care of at a friend's house, we're gonna tear this place apart and do a nice good deep clean. Put things away, secure items that uh, might potentially fall out along the way. And uh, just prepare for three more crew members to come aboard. Uh, and it's, it's happening quick, so they'll be here before we know it. And uh, we're just trying not to think about things too much. Um, you know, it just works you up and you, you, your anxiety levels go through the roof. And uh, we're just trying to stay calm. I know it's going to be a real fun, safe trip. Our crew is, is fantastic. And uh, I think we've really crossed our T's and dotted our I's. So, you know, like I said, it's just stay busy and try not to think of things. And that was the first time I've ever actually had used two carts before. Hopefully we got the food thing taken care of and um, now it's just kind of, we're just waiting so it's less than 24 hours until we get on out of here. Uh, we'll have a final crew meeting tonight and get everybody on the same page and tomorrow at about noon we'll be out of here. So I think there's going to be a few people that show up down here at the dock and uh, cut the lines for us. So it should be a very special day and uh, we're pretty excited. So but now we just wait. Well, it's been about 14 months since we first docked Stella J up uh, in her slip here in Blaine, and uh, we never really expected to stay this long, but here we are. And today is the day that we cut the lines for good, and uh, we get out of here. We'll start our, uh, our first leg to Port Townsend and uh, go meet up with the rest of the Coho group. So here in a couple hours, uh, we'll just assemble the rest of the crew, we'll cut the lines, and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get on out of here. Uh, it's been a long wait. I think we're prepared as uh, we ever could be. And, uh, you know, I'm just really anxious and excited to go ahead and get this voyage on the way. So, here we go. Today's the day. It's the morning of departure. It's roughly 6.30 right now. Uh, the boat's fairly empty. Everybody is taking their showers and doing their final checks. And uh, we get out of here in just about three hours. How are you feeling? Stressed out to the max. Yeah, sleep was a bit interesting last night. A lot of flopping around. But um, in a couple hours we'll do a cutting the line ceremony and uh, final checks and we'll, we'll get out of here. And so. Uh, who knows, it could be anywhere from 6 to 10 days on the way down, and hopefully we don't have to pull in anywhere along the way. We really were uh, going to try to make it all the way down to San Francisco in uh, you know, one, one 
full continuous motion. So we'll see how it goes. We got a good weather window as it looks right now. Things could change, but uh, cross our fingers. Oh, we'll get out here in just a little bit. track of days while you're out here. So it would be... Oh shit! <laughs> 